Hi guys, this is Harry here for Hardcore Cores Updates and Reviews. Tonight I'm going to be doing a Swiss Gore film f called, uh, don't, don't uh, slam me for getting this wrong, Der Tomodium. I don't know if I said that right. Um, this is a Swiss Gore film. Um, and you don't see too many Swiss Gore films out there. Uh, I've seen a couple shorts. Um, I think one of them is called Splatbox. It had a whole bunch of shorts on there, war films. But this is the the only full length uh, splatter war film that I've seen from Switzerland. Uh, and the thing that stands out the most with this film is Olaf Ittenbach does the special effects. And if you're a gore hound, you know who Olaf is because he is one of the most uh, amazing uh, effects uh, person uh, in Germany. Um, and he does a really phenomenal job on this film. Um, this film, as the uh, story goes, about a fucking uh, shitbag that uh, everything's going wrong in his life. Um, he falls on some hard times, and this angel of death comes to visit him uh, and tells him to start killing evil people off. So this shitbag decides to go kill people, and that's basically the film. This, this angel going to him and basically tell him to kill all these people. Now, it, it, the film, like I said, the story is kind of dull, but the, the gore was just phenomenal. Uh, you get to see people getting stabbed in the face, shot in the head, and the main scene that sticks out to me the most was a scene where he goes into this lady's house and she's in the bathtub and he takes an axe to her and chops her up in pieces. It's just a total fucking slaughter. Uh, I remember the first time I saw that scene, I was just like, wow, that's some really good effects. And then I looked and found out it was Olaf Hittenbach, you know, so kind of makes sense. Um, the way they filmed it was kind of cool, kind of dreamlike, kind of surreal. Um, the only issue with the film, like I said, the story's kind of dull. I mean, it's okay, but there's no uh, English subtitles, and I'm not, I was never able to find a copy that has English subtitles, so you have to watch it. Uh, with no English subtitles, so you can't really, you don't know what's being said, but you can follow the story pretty easy. So, if you're able to obtain a copy, a legit copy of it, cool, because I haven't able to, been able to find one. I've seen a couple go on eBay for some major money, but I wasn't going to pay, like, some ridiculous price for it. Uh, if it comes along and somebody has it and wants to sell it to me, I'd be glad to buy it for a decent price, but I'm not going to go out of my way to spend like 60 or 80 dollars on it but I think it is a good film I highly recommend it if you can find a copy of it really cool effects from Olaf Ittenbach definitely check it out um, this is probably going to be my last review of the week um, I'm still cleaning house on my friends list I've deleted a few people but um, from what I can see um, I'm thinking that Facebook has people on their monitor and everybody's account because there's no fucking way that they're flagging people's photos they must be watching everybody I don't know I, I just it's just a big fucking mess but um, I'll try to get some more reviews up next week um, I got a lot of shit to watch still um, uh, some upcoming things uh, there's massacre videos that are released Anthro Vegas 2000 from Andre Schneis a German gore director really looking forward to that uh, and Relapse Records is going to release uh, Goblin Rebirth, which is some of the members of Goblin, the, the old Goblin band. Uh, I heard a few tracks off of this. It just sounds phenomenal. I know this isn't really about a music page, but Goblin is a major part of gore films over the years and splatter films from Italy, so definitely check that out. Um, with that... Thank you guys for watching, and have a glory one.